product is actually a functional thing because the way things look is a, is a functional aspect of how the user perceives it on the visual realm. So if I look at this chair, I may or may not like it because it's purple, because I'm somehow associated with purple color on a nice kind of experiential realm. So oftentimes if you come across visual designers, they'll talk about why should something be blue, why should something be green, why should it be bigger or smaller, position there and there, all that stuff is functional. So really, design is a blueprint showing functionality of a product before it's made. And so the question is, how does this all relate to development of any kind? Like web development is interesting because, um, you know, I studied um, computer science in from 1999 to 2002 uh, and we were learning things like Pascal which was functional programming, procedural programming and even at the time when we were learning that the, the lecturers knew that was irrelevant and wasn't used anywhere in the industry but it was being used as a framework for learning and it was just like okay here's a simple language that you can learn principles of programming through. So if you learn your know, if statements, else, for loops, uh, while loops, and pretty much with like if, if else statement and a for loop, you can build almost anything in the world. <laughs> uh, with coupled that with sort of functions and all those kind of things, when you get into object-oriented uh, realm as well, those are basically the building blocks of any, any software. Uh, but so from from nine, back in 99 to today, what has happened is we, we used to get told that as we kind of build more and more software in object-oriented realm through various kind of frameworks and so on, things are just going to become quicker and quicker to build because we're going to have all these libraries, right, that we've pre-written and pre-tested and they just work and we can just kind of write one line of code and things just kind of work, right? What wasn't really taken into account, it seems like, to me, is that the context of everything else has become extremely more complex. So whereas before we would build and design for a desktop browser running mostly Internet Explorer back in the day on some sort of dial-up modem, uh, nowadays we're designing and building for a smartwatch, smartphone, a phablet, which is a mix between a, a tablet and a phone, and then a, a tablet on one side, a tablet on another side, a laptop, a desktop, large TV, big cinema screens, right? So one interface needs to work in all those contexts. So as contexts have become increasingly more and more complex, <laughs> all your kind of libraries that you were testing before with for like Internet Explorer are actually becoming like outdated and you know, you can question whether they work and whether they're relevant. So, context is a very important word to remember because it's a set of circumstances within which an interaction can be fully understood. So, nowadays you, you find that customers typically, um, for example, in banking or insurance sectors, if they're applying for insurance, they, want, they might start something on their smartphone uh, they get halfway through that kind of application process and then say, oh, I'll leave this for later, and then they continue that application on the desktop when they get home. Uh, and we need to kind of, as service designers, user experience designers, make that possible, both in terms of design as well as in terms of code and, and development. Um, and so, one of the approaches that's been taken to all this is information, like application of information architecture um, in a way that is much more componentized and broken down into individual parts which make sense on their own and have their own pieces of functionality and responsibilities, let's say. And, you know, through application of system thinking across all of this, um, we're, we're, we're trying to make things more uh, reusable and uh, applicable to many different realms, but actually have small responsibilities, hopefully one 
tasks that, that it does so that it can be used in different systems and not just you know the one that we're making for now. Um, 